Right, hi there. Welcome to part two when I'm going to be showing my craft room in a bit more detail and just going a bit more close up and opening things and if this is the sort of thing you like to do and you like to see all the nooks and crannies, stay with me. If you've come across this one and you'd rather just see a, an overview and a panning around the room, have a look at part one. So I'm just going to start here. We have looked at all of this. Um, I don't really think I need to show you in more detail. This is just journals and scrapbooks. Um, and we did look at this, but I will look a bit, I will show you this, whoops, I'm just moving my little stool. Sorry. In order to be able to show you things, I have to climb on my stool. Just one moment. Up we go. Right, so this top shelf here, so that's one of my, my first ever scrapbook that I actually put in a little felt pouch that's how I where I keep it and then I've just got on here lots of little mini scrapbooks and some of the folios that I've made I think you might recognize one or two of those at the end there these are those flip out folios so there's just a few small things that I've made over the years and then the next one is just old vintage books um, with a pot there with some pencils in um, yeah just a variety of old books in here and these are some covers that I might use to make, um, these are old diaries that I had from work. And they're just hardboard really, and they're A4 size. And I think I might, you know, I've, I've kept them because I thought I might be able to use them to make um, journal covers. They make quite good journal covers. They're not as big as, um, like they're not 9 by 6 but um, they would make quite good journal covers. There's a couple of other, there's about plants and animals and another book that I haven't used much of, a poster hand book, which I keep meaning to use bits of. So they're the bits that I thought you might be of interest. The, these bits are not quite so interesting down here and I did show you these in the last video. So we'll just pan around to these units over here and I will start with this one. So on the top i just got a few little decorative bits. I've got my picture of my, my Jenny with little baby Lissy when she was teeny weeny. I made I made the did the scrapbook um, page so that I could put it in that deep frame. And I, I love that picture of the two of them. And then that's something that somebody made for me when I when I retired. Just some memories of work. Yeah, so just a few little bits on there. Then we've got all my scrapbooking papers are now in this just this one unit here. I managed to condense it down from two to one when I moved and got rid of an awful lot. So I've got a whole I've got some um, paper pads here, I've got a little bit of Tim Holtz and some um, all my stamperia is in, in this folder. Or some of it is anyway, not all of it. And just some 12 by 12 um, boxes to keep a lot of stuff in. Um, and then I've got cardstock, um, you know, just plain A4 cardstock, white and cream. Uh, there's vellum there, that's in this one. And in this one I've got a variety of just some patterned papers that came out of magazines. And I'll show you, I'll just flick through. They're just, I mean, I hardly ever use them. I've had them for ages and ages and I never reach for them. Um, so they're just in there, just out of the way, because I can't bear to throw things away. Well, we're all, we're all like that, aren't we? This folder has got templates in, which I don't ever use. There's not much in there. This is my folder for stencils. That's absolutely rammed. All my stencils, or most of my stencils are in there. And the little one on the end just says inspiration, and that's some scrapbooking inspiration that I never look at anymore. And then on the shelf below, it's getting hard to get down there now, on the shelf below, um, the really brightly coloured spine, that's my Dilusions art journal, which I, I often think I'm going to go back and do some more work in, but I haven't done for ages. And a variety of bigger, of bigger books that I use for, you know, that I can pull things out of, some children's books and a variety of books there that I can use for my, um, for my uh, journals. And a bit, some kind of, really, this is just more sort of, packaging and not packaging more junk maily stuff bigger things that maybe I can use that are kind of more cardstocky so I thought I can use those for making ephemera but I tend to forget they're there 
and at the bottom is a box with more fabrics, smaller pieces. I've got the fabrics in ever decreasing sizes in different boxes so this is like the next size down of quite large pieces but not huge pieces. <laughs> and next to it is the same with the lace. These are my bigger pieces of lace that I then cut down into smaller pieces to keep handy. So these are kind of like the original pieces that I cut bits off. And I keep the big pieces in there. Then there's a couple of little drawers here. These won't have changed much since I did probably my craft room tour five years ago. Um, so the top drawer is all flowers. There's my new pack that I got from Shabby Dabby Doo Dar. So there's a whole variety of um, flowers, flower packs in here. I really should look through. Go look, uh, reach for these, I'll buy them and then I forget I've got them. So, and I do love them. And then there's more flowers in here, all arranged in little little boxes by colour. These are little tiny, well they're paper really, they're like mulberry paper flowers. Anyway, so I've got a whole load of those, all in different colour boxes that match the colour of the flower. So, and they don't pull out very well, but yeah, so you can just see in there. Okay, and then, as I say, there's lace at the bottom. Above it, there's more of these. I do use these magazine racks. They're so useful. I use them so much. A magazine, they're like card, um, cardboard. I think I bought, bought these as a flat pack and pack of three. They're so handy for keeping these things. So I have got uh, file folders, a couple of big old jotter books that were my mother-in-law's, and a few other pads here that um, I use sometimes and there's more more kind of paper pads um, some music books um, yeah quite a few things that were my, that I've sort of inherited from my mother-in-law things that she had in her in her desk that I've just taken control of there's a few of her because she did a lot of art so there's a few art arty books and there's notebooks and and some books that she actually used when she was working many years ago so some of it's quite vintagey so they're quite handy just to have on hand to, to reach for um, and then there's some plain white cardstock here this is all 12 by 12 cardstock in this this side here and some more pads I think these are all um, art art pads here on this end so I sometimes sometimes I reach for those sort of things and then this is all um, all the dies. So my die cutting machines on my desk, on my little table behind me. So this is my box of this is a box of dies. These are more dies. These are all in these. Um, they're like tonic, made by tonic, and they're all uh, magnetic. So I've got three of these, all with dies in. I mean, it's ridiculous how many dies I have. And these are my plates here for the for the machine. So yeah, so I have um, far more dies than I could ever possibly need. Um, but I just keep buying them, it's ridiculous. Uh, I have, I'm trying not to buy them too often because they're not cheap, but I used to buy them a lot. Then this is more my, uh, what do you call it, painty corner, I suppose you might say. So I've got a whole bunch of, I've got some um, watercolour paints, I've got my jelly plate here, um, I've got some colouring pencils, watercolour pencils, these are the um, Dino Oakley Mixed Media Scribble Sticks. I've got two tins of those. They're rather nice to use. They're watercolour like water crayons, really. There's some more um, stencils, I think, are in here. There's an unused couple of canvases and all, all sorts of stuff. There's, there's my, um, what's this, foam, little foam, sheets of foam there. So that's in that, whoops. That's in there, there's a whole load of that kind of stuff. And then in here it's more the um, the, the glues, big pot of gesso at the back there. You can see obviously one by brushes. This paint pot, this is this is my water pot. It was an old jam jar. Um, and it, it was um, just a clear paint pot. Um, but we had Alyssa over during the week after school and she declared she wanted to do some painting. So we sat her down with some paints and uh, that brush and not only did she like painting the paper that we gave her she decided that the pot needed to be painted too so she painted that a beautiful shade of purple so that is all her work this pot 
back. She, she was very thorough. She covered the whole thing and it has actually stayed. I thought it might wash off, but it isn't. It's stayed on there, so it's now purple. And yeah, there's a few other bits in there. Not, not very exciting, just a variety of things to be used. There's some Mod Podge at the back there. So yes, that's that little unit. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> I've got, a, got this sticking out. I don't know quite what's going to happen with that. Oh well, that's it. I'll push it up. There we go. Then I've got a couple of drawers here. This one is absolutely stuffed full of tissue paper. It's nearly all tissue paper in here, I think. Yeah, I just keep putting things in there. I do use it, but um, I keep adding to it. And then this is just all my spare glues in here. It's just the glue drawer. Not very exciting. And then the box of spray paints is down the bottom here. All my dilu uh, not dilutions. Yeah, uh, are they dilution sprays? Yeah, there's a lot of dilution sprays and there's a whole load of sprays down here in that box. So that's this unit. Right, so now we're at this, this unit here, which is the one that's behind my desk. And I'll just show you that an, a bit closer. Up on the stool again. So everything, mostly is everything, well nearly everything is labelled, because I do like to label. So as you can see that box has got embroidery thread, gathered lace and tassels in there. And I've got my mini stamps, napkins, and this basket has got some spools of seam binding. I'll just show you that. I just put them on little spools that I made out of toilet rolls. So that's just in there. And then down here, I haven't I haven't actually labelled this box, but it's all wood veneer things that I don't very often pull out, but I often think I'd like to. I should use them on covers at least. Then this box has got a whole load of um, packaging to use, which I do reach for quite a bit actually, for making tags and journal cards. They're quite nice. I mean, we all use this, don't we, this kind of stuff. Um, these packaging sheets. So that's in there. And then at the back there is some... Um, in here there's some bags of different types of ephemera, so some yo-yos. Um, some bits from that I cut out there from a Sorry, the, the I keep. I'm sorry, the uh, the camera keeps dropping down a bit when I reach for things. I'll try and keep it a bit better anchored. So yeah, I just think if if I haven't got anywhere any other box to put them in, I just put them in a little bag like this and, and label it. So this is some paper outpost Victorian scraps. A um, bunch of things. There's some paper dolls at the back. All sorts of stuff. A lot, a lot of the paper dolls I've got in different little bags. So yeah, they're just some ephemera um, bits that I haven't put anywhere into a box separately. That goes back there. I've uh, got some snippet rolls in that box. And all the box, the things in that box is the stuff from your creative studio. They're more the generic stuff. So I've just put them in that box there. And in there, this is my idea box, where if I make something and I might want to make it another time, I pop it in there with a label to say where I saw it being made. And this box here has got my journal toppers that we made in a, a few weeks ago in a video. And then coming down, I'm just going to step off the stool now, so bear with. And stand back a little bit. Okay, so this is all my stamps. So this is just all the stamps, and they're all in these, um, these are the silicon stamps, and they're all in these Avery L, actually this is not a good example because I haven't labelled this one, probably one of the few that's not been labelled. Let's try another one. I'll find one that's been labelled. There we go. So there we are. Whoops, I'm just getting hold of it. So I put them all in these Avery L bags um, with a piece of card to back it and then I label them so I can just flick through um, and find what I'm looking for. I saw this done once years ago um, on somebody's channel and I thought that was a really good idea so that's what I like to do. It is absolutely full now so I get, I'm, I'm in trouble now when I buy anything new because I really can't fit much more in here. I have got a few bigger ones down the side so my, my couple of lovely Tim Holtz stamps I just tucked in the side here. So I've got this one and this one. 
and the rest of my bags, the Avery old bags, are tucked around there too, ready for anything new. And then this little lot here, these are all my made ephemera. Um, actually, this one isn't, sorry. <laughs> this one is stuff, this is my to-do box. So this has got bits that have been half made, bits of um, masterboard, um, pieces of people's out of kits that I haven't done much with. And then there's some um, pieces made out of book page at the back. So this is all my to-do box and more bits at the back there. So there's when I pull, if I feel like just doing some random ephemera making, this is what I'll pull out. This one, there's a couple of little tiny boxes here. This is my tiny tags. And then there's some little envelopes and mostly envelopes and little pen holders at the back in that little box at the back there. This is journal cards, tags, and little booklets and folios at the back. So, I mean, there's not a huge amount in here. I've got plenty of room to make some more. And then in the end one, this this one, so this is two separate little book boxes. So this back one is all booklets and folios. It's really full, because I forget to use them. But this is one big one, and this has got really, it's all pockets. And I think there might be other things. I think it's it might all be pockets, this one. Yeah, I think the whole thing is pockets with a few belly bands at the back, but this is basically pockets. So yeah, that's all my ready-made ephemera. So not a huge amount, because mostly I make stuff specifically for the journals I'm working in. Um, but it is really fun just to do things randomly, however you, and then pop them in here, just in case I can use them um, another time. And then moving down, most of this will be self-explanatory, because oh, I'd say most of it's labelled. No, it isn't. <laughs> These two are labelled. So the top box is twine, and the next one is the sari silk. And I've got a little bag here that my, my lovely friend in Germany, who I've known for a hmm, long, long, long time, since, since we were in our teens, um, but, and we've stayed in touch all these years. So she made me this little pouch. She's a quilter, and she sent me that quite a few years ago. And I've used it for a variety of things, but at the moment it's holding my little scrappy bits of... Um, Embroidery, paper, embroidery thread. So up, up in the box up the top I've got embroidery thread that's, that's still complete spools that I bought new. But I've, got, I've collected loads of little, these little books of when I've done, when I used to do a lot of cross stitch I've got loads of these. And it's quite handy just to have these little bits because I have all the colours that you can imagine in here if I need them for a button or something. So I've just popped that in there. And then this is another box of randomness so I've got some Tim Holtz wallpaper there and more Tim Holtz uh, no it's not Tim Holtz that's some Kaiser Craft pieces there some magnets um, some Tim Holtz stickers I thought you know I forget I've got these sometimes and some more stickers there the little label stickers and some other bits and pieces wrapping uh, not wrapping paper writing paper and things at the back these are my baskets of book page and, and things like that so this is this is the basket I just bring in when I want little tiny bits of book page I use that I just put my little tiny scraps in there can you see that little tiny scraps and then sorry and then the next one are small pieces of planar neutral scraps so that's quite handy for covering backing things or or whatever just doing some um, collaging underneath here are my um, digital scraps, digital paper scraps. I haven't got a huge amount because if you remember I got rid of a lot but I have got, they're beginning to build up again so I've got some scraps in there and then here I've got some small book pages and these are sort of glue booky type pages that I can use. There's little small packs of book pages. I have some else in other places. I've got another little bag in my craft club bag of book page to use so these are quite just handy small pieces that I can just reach for that are not scraps let's just put these these baskets back so I don't end up with things everywhere I'll just pile them up sorry about the fast move there sorry okay so they're in there and then just a couple of folders on the end here this one has got 
uh, larger digital paper scraps that don't go in that little basket down the bottom there. And this is my larger neutral scraps. Again, for bigger pieces when I'm doing backing. Getting there. Next one down. This is all fabrics. This lovely bag here, I'll just put it on my stool and you can see it properly. That lovely bag, that's my lovely, my friend in Germany, the one I said was a quilter. This is the most recent thing she sent me. I've just got had this a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was meant to get it for Christmas, but it didn't make it here because she didn't have my new address. So I, um, it got sent back to her and then she resent it. Um, and I think, I think it's probably meant to be a knitting bag. But of course I don't knit, so if I put it up on my desk I'll show you how I use it. Right, so I've managed to open it. And inside I've decided, so I keep, I've got my phone on my selfie stick so I can manoeuvre it more easily, but it does tend to wander about. Sorry about this. Um, I'm not the best at filming these kind of things. So I've got lots of little bags of tiny scraps, which are really good for snippets. And another bag. And then inside I've just got all my very small, if you can see, it's hard to see because it's not quite light enough, but I've got a whole bunch of really small pieces. So they were just in a box or you know in a basket. So I thought, well, I'll put them in here, keep them, keep them nice, keep them all together. And that's just a nice handy thing to pull in. Um, pull this back, this little bag in, and it's just so pretty. She did such a lovely job on it. I thought, I've got to use it for something. So that was that. That was on this shelf here, as you can see. Um, and then the next to it, I've got one of my various baskets of fabric pieces. I think they're, I think they're the pieces that might be big enough for journal covers. I'm not sure, I've got different ones. There's some little, um, it was one of those rolls of fabrics, small scrappy pieces of neutrals and white fabrics. Good for backing, backing and stuff. Those kind of things in there. Then down below, let's just move my stool out the way. I have my smaller box of lace that I put things in for, so I can reach for um, for the laces that are, you know small pieces of lace. And below that, I've got can't even see it, envelopes. It's my box of envelopes. That's a, just a little unit my sister bought me years and years ago. And I think if I can reach, which I'm not sure I can. <laughs> What have I got in there? Ruffles. Ruffles in that drawer. And uh, all sorts of weird stuff in that drawer. <laughs> and in this little basket, um, I think these were some of, I'm not sure what, it's got some bits of fabric and I have no idea. It might have been some of the pieces I used for Alyssa's journal, maybe. That might be to do with Alyssa's journal. Then I have fabric doilies at the bottom there, like little knitted or crochet doilies. Another basket of, two baskets, or one box and one basket of fabrics. Right, so behind me then now, um, I usually keep this, it's next to my desk and I usually just swing it around and have this next to me when I'm crafting. Because as you can see, it has my, my glue. So that's my Fabri-Tac and my, um, tacky glue here in the two um, sugar bell bottles and this is the spare not much left in this one that's the dark glitter glue because I have that little bottle now that I use and behind that is a several pots I've got my spatulas um, these kind of brushes for stenciling and a few pens in this one rulers and bits and pieces in this tool um, jar at the back um, and a whole load of lace here it's getting a bit of a bit of a mess this pile of lace but this is all my these are all the cream coloured laces which I reach for the most and there's a bit of things like there's some roll of burlap and a variety of things so it is it started life in a basket but it's beginning to overflow especially now I've got these new these new ones 
and then sort of propped up at the end I've got foam pad, small um, scoreboard, my big dilution stamp pad, Tim Holtz oh, stencils on a, on a ring, my envelope board and a, well this is a, what do you call it, mouse pad which is also foamy so it's just like a, a backup foam pad and then I've got a couple of things hanging off the side with extra scissors and brayers and various tools. I think the, yeah, there's my tiny attacher and there's, I think there's another, yeah, there's a variety of little tools in here. Um, okay, and that's, so that's the top of the rice cog. And then on the next next shelf down there's my small trimmer that I like to reach for so that's just propped up just there like that so I can grab it when it's next to me and then behind that so I'm just moving it out of the way so I've got the book cradle from Crafty Cat USA on there this is my book binding bag I think in here there's some snippet pieces. I'm not sure if I've got anything in there now because I put them all in that book, didn't I? I've got some little scissors, um, like, um, different decalage scissors. And then on the other side, I've got my two boxes of um, floral trims, I would call them. So I've got the sort of neutrally ones and the more colourful ones in there. So they're just at the back there. And then at the bottom, there's my the rest of my laces. So there's the whites and the coloureds. And a couple of Christmas crackers that don't really belong anywhere. And I've stuck them in there. They, Alyssa keeps saying, why have we got Christmas crackers? And I don't know. They just never got pulled. And they've ended up in my rice cog and I have no idea why. Right, so there's my grass cog. And now we'll move on. Pan round past the desk. Past everything else. And we will have a little look this Alex drawer unit and I won't linger on these many of them you'll have, I think you'll have seen a lot of them before but some of them may have changed so the top and the top ones are the more interesting anyway so the top one is all my paints and that is um, well all the smaller pot of all my small pots of paints and there's all the acrylics really so that's there so it's like a rainbow of color I love I love all these these are my dilutions paints I love them they're just such a lovely array of color and then there's a few other pots there. Some of them are metallic. Yeah, loads of paints in there. This is what I call the mixed media drawer. This one here. And it's a bit of a mess, but that's how it is. So there's a whole collection of bits in here. I don't know what I've got. Cosmic Shimmer things. I've got some Nuvo Drops pots. Um, glitter glue. A whole bunch of glitter glue. What else have we got? empty bottles um, yeah it's just things I've shoved in that that are just what I would call come under mixed media small enough to go in here um, so they don't go over on the drawer on the calyx unit over at the side but that is my mixed media drawer and then this is my what I call my bling drawer put sunglasses on it's very sparkly in here so I've got these are all little Little brads, and under there is more sort of sparkly, sequiny bits, and loads of these little packs of sequiny type stuff. This little pot has got little pots of sequin inside. Um, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Glitter, more sequins. What's this one? Biodegradable glitter. I have to try using that. So that kind of stuff all comes out of Christmas, really. So yeah, so this is the bling drawer. And I do reach into this quite often, really, but mostly for brads and things or for sequins. Then the next one is called... Oh, this is where I just keep my uh, labels and photo paper and A4 envelopes and things like that. So a bit, bit, bit of a boring one, that one. Uh, and this is where I keep my inks, <laughs> more boring stuff. This is an ephemera uh, drawer, 
I used to keep these all um, all my ephemera uh, sorted by colour. Never used them. It was just not not uh, just didn't didn't use them um, enough. So they're all been changed, and I use them a lot more now. So I've got some field note stamps in there, box of tabs, some of my Tim Holtz like the Tim Holtz solos are in here. Some more stamps. These are the um, Your Creative Studio stamps. So I have got a few few things that are more likely to to reach for in here. Not as often as I should sometimes. I do forget they're there, but um, but there are useful useful cases. And in here it's not even labelled. I don't know what even is in here. What's in there? Oh, I oh I've forgotten. I've done this. All my Daphne's diaries are in here. <laughs> just a whole. I just bought a year's worth. So there's eight eight magazines, but they are nice to flick through. I enjoy those. Plastic folders, and at the bottom I've just got some a few devices and leads. Nothing very exciting. So from there we could pan around to my other Alex drawer unit. And again, I'll just quickly go through these drawers. Right, top drawer is inks. If I pull back a bit, you can see I've got uh, my dilutions, not dilutions, my Tim Holtz Distress Inks and Oxides here. Some, um, what do you call, um, the pads, you know, <laughs> ink pads for um, Distress Ink and stuff. And the little, also a few little uh, spongy thingies. Oh, God, my brain's gone. I've got some of my, uh, the more neutral Tim Holtzy washi tape. God, I can't think. Uh, washi tapes. I've got my big punch, a uh, punch, big stamp for labels, and more stamps in there. And then little tiny, the, the very small, the Versacolor ink pads that I used to use a lot. And I tend to not use them so much now that I, I get got the Tim Holtz, but I have a whole load of those in there. And more of the spongy pad things in the cupboard in the in that box there. Um, so that's pretty much it. There's one set of stamps at the back there by the looks of it. So that's the top drawer. And then the next two drawers are full of all sorts of yumminess and of course these are ones that Alyssa loves to have a poke around in. So I've got some blingy bits in there, I've got my two lots of peg stamps in these little boxes here, they're really handy. Um, and I've got a variety of little pots of things that I've made, so there's some just punched leaves, these are little um, flatback pearls and some little circle things that I've made. Um, a oh, whole bunch of things and these six boxes so that's some circle bits punched out there's some flowers that I've made more punched out flowers in there stamped bits in there tiny envelopes in there apparently I don't I haven't looked in there for ages and um, punched sort of um, little butterfly bits in there so yeah this is one of Alyssa's favorite little drawers and you can probably see why it's quite it's quite uh, a, a tempting for little fingers, but I think even more than that, I think she likes this drawer. So this drawer, okay, so I've got a whole load of um, rubber stamps, what they call, you know, you know, the ones on a on a block, on the wooden block stamps. So I've got a whole, two, two baskets of those, another lot of uh, stamps at the back there some old buttons. She loves these. These are my gel uh, gelatos and a little few bits and pieces that uh, she likes to dip into to stick in her projects. <laughs> I bought these recently for myself because I bought some for her. These are like a gelatos but much cheaper. £4 for six and they're metallic. They're really good. So um, she's got a pack of these so these are mine but I haven't actually used them yet. And under there is a load of uh, hearts, punched out hearts. So yeah, so that's that drawer. And the next two drawers probably haven't changed since I last did a craft room tour. Because this is where I keep all my punches. So these are the smaller ones and all my Arthur, Martha Stewart's um, border punches. And these are my 
all the punches. I, lo I love my punches. So that's one drawer. Oh. And then I have a second drawer of punches. And that's the bigger ones, as you can see. So that's those. And the very last one, the very bottom drawer. This is more um, tools, I suppose. It's not got as much in it as it used to. So I've got some spare brushes for stenciling. I've got my labeler, which I use all the time, as you can probably tell. And then the spare tapes for the labeler. And a couple of staples and a few other bits lurking at the back there that I never use. All right, so if I bring you up above the desk, above the desk, I can show you my two shelves in slightly more detail. I'll try not to linger. So big bite, box of all the bits I've had from LA Hay Treasures from Laurie. That's all my bits from there. These are some boxes of ephemera that I reach for a lot. So birds and butterflies are there. Um, some roses. So they're, they're quite a nice little set of boxes that I keep re reach for. Here's little Miss Lissy Pickle when she was very little. A box of trims. And on top, I can't remember. Oh yeah, some bits that when we made that, that scrappy fabric and I punched out some or I die cut some shapes and then I forgot to use them. This is my box of um, Roxy Creations challenge pieces that I've made so far, so starting at week one. Obviously that's grown to hot at the moment because I've not been able to do any crafting, but I hope to get back into doing those next week. Uh, a few little boxes of bits that I've just got at the front. To be honest, I've put them up here to keep them out of little little Mrs. way because she'd have them because she'd already cleared me out once well not cleared me out but she she does like this sort of thing so I've got some punched butterflies and some punched birds now a lot of these things used to be in one of my drawers but um, <laughs> I've decided if I want to keep them I need to put them out of her sight so these are more butterflies these are double butterflies where I've punched more and layered them up so I've got those there I've got some little resin flowers and some other little die cut bits and pieces there. Some of my faux washi made in the weekly challenge last time. Postcards at the back. And some Tim Holtz tissue paper. And this is my box of goodies from my friend Tiana. So I'll just take out that little note that she put in. So yeah, all my bits from her I keep thinking. Every time I look through it I think, oh I must use these things. There are some absolute wonderful stuff in there so I really need to pull that out and get some more more bits in um, used because I've used some of it for my music journal but um, there's loads in here as you can see it's a, an absolute absolutely rammed full this box so that has pride of place on my shelf and then the top shelf I just it's all pretty well self-explanatory because everything is labeled so you can just I can just show you all the different things that I have on this shelf Things that I've made quite often, or things that just seem to fit quite nicely into these little boxes. So what we've got there, I'll go in a bit closer. Large brads, wood veneer, dried flowers, goes on and on. Slightly bigger boxes, stamp fabric, I keep forgetting to get those out and I really, really should. My feathers, some die cuts, ribbon bows that I've just bought. Here are my wax seals. That's the box with the seals and the bits and pieces to go with it, and the little box of seals underneath. And here is my sidekick with the dies and plates that go with that. And right on the end, there's the Euro punch, you know, that you use for punching um, tops of tags, and my book holder thingy. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that might be of interest. Oh, I do have my little, um, you may not have seen this hidden away under here, but I have another little drawer unit here under my desk, which is really handy. because It's right next to me, so it's the things I pull, I reach for all the time. So these are my archive inks, 
and there's there's some little notepads and um, paper clips in that box there. Corner punch. There's a box here with a few extra bits of useful tools. And here's um, cards and things that I use for scraping. This is the one that Rhonda sent me. Keep it right there because I use it a lot. Box of um, elastic bands and some various bits in that drawer. So that's a really, really handy to have that nearby. And just tucked under here, can you see? Just tucked on the top here. That's my uh, wet, wet wipes. And then this box, this drawer here, it's also another lovely drawer. So this is the box. I use for my little um, tiny pieces of lace, lace little lace scraps in my Nana and Grandad box that had something in it from from her, from Melissa. A couple of the the, the two uh, circle punches that I use the most. Another little box of scrappy bits, a little tiny scrappy bits of fabric and the odd bit of lace. And there's another one the same behind it, which has got scrappy bits of paper. Little tiny pieces these are, just handy for little little spots. And then a couple of these sort of boxes. This one has got wax seals and some that have been stuck onto bits of fabric. And the one underneath that has got a few, very many now. Did have all my clusters in here, but most of them are now been put into a cluster book. And these are just the big ones that I think they need finishing. They weren't quite what I wanted really. So they're in there. Right so the next drawer is my washi tapes. So the box at the back has got all the warm colours, the pinks, the oranges and the reds, all of those colours. And then I've got all the cool um, purples, greens and blues at the front. This is just two parts of one box. This is the lid and that's the main part of the box. It's just handy because that because it's got a deep lid, it just worked quite well as a second box and that's how I keep the, the washi tapes and then if I need them I just pull out the whole box. So they're in there and this is um, stamp, pa uh, stamp blocks, oh, this box here and this is the my little box of uh, eyelets in there. There's another box at the back, I'm not even sure what's in it. Shall we have a look? So this is all sorts of little little bags of bits and pieces that I use, little Tim Holtz fastenings and some jump rings and corn, book corners and uh, bulb pins. There's some book rings. So it's a whole bunch of stuff. I think I've got the Velcro on the Velcros here. Sorry, tucked in the side there. There's probably some magnets in there as well. Yes, so... Just little useful bits that I don't reach for very often, but I know they're there. So that's that drawer. The next drawer is coffee dyed paper, which is getting quite low. And the bottom drawer, um, that is cheesecloth and a few other some antiseptic wipes. Some eyelets that aren't really, that I don't use. So yes, the least useful drawer, but I do use the cheesecloth. So I'm just going to... Close that. See my horrible ugly crocs, but they're very comfortable. Um, I think that's about it really. I'm just looking around, see if there's anything else that might be of interest. If I've missed anything that you wanted to have a closer look at, do let me know and I'll do a I'll do that. But I think I've covered everything that I'll just do a last final pan around and uh, so we had a look at all the drawers and the shelves you see my project table and my desk <laughs> and we looked at the RAS cog there's not really much to see on this table just the two machines we've looked at that unit and we've looked at this unit, go right up there and all the way down there. Next to it's my bin. And then we come back round to this side. 
So this is what I need in here. There's a big gap there. I think I need a chair. I have a chair in my bedroom. I think that might I might bring that in here. Little little armchair. I could sit in here and just chill out. Oh, that big picture that comes from the bedroom because we're decorating the bedroom, so that doesn't belong in here. That's just propped there while we're while my husband's decorating, so that doesn't belong there. Oh, this is the printer. I don't know if I've shown you this. This is my printer. It's the HP Envy. I'll just home in on that. HP Envy 4,500. 4, 4, 4, 4, <laughs> Get the numbers right. So yeah, and I've just got it on this cupboard here. So inside oh, is all the papers that I use. So I've just got the ordinary um, printer paper on the top. Then slightly... Um, then I've got the thick 160 paper that I use for ephemera next. Then some 120 nice quality presentation paper. And then underneath that, I have no idea what that is. And then some odd scraps of paper down, down below, different colours and things. That could be photograph paper in there, not sure. Anyway, so that's that cupboard. It's just handy to have that there with all the papers just ready for the printer when I need it. So there we are, everybody. I hope this is of interest and I haven't made you feel queasy by panning around too fast. But this is my craft room. This is where I spend a lot of my time. I love this room so much. It's lovely and light and bright and it's my space. It's my happy place. So I hope you enjoyed this. And please do join me again soon when I'll be working in my craft room. Bye for now.